Today I'm reading from page one. Knowing God really matters. It is disclosed in the Holy Scriptures there are three divine persons enjoined to assist mankind's salvation. I am convinced to know God and rely upon the specific work of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit really matters. The let us make man in the beginning of the Holy Scriptures are the divine persons revealed in Scripture as God that bears record of their love. 1 John 5, 7 But there are three that bear record in heaven, the Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost. And these three are one. It is also evident by revelation of the Holy Scriptures, the Lord God wants mankind to be well acquainted with their adversary, Satan, the devil. The Holy Scriptures identifies the person and tricks of the devil. From the Scriptures, we can receive knowledge of the identity, the intentions, and the works of the devil. The Holy Scriptures illuminates God's doctrine. Because information is given of the devil in the Scriptures, I have learned to be cautious of doctrine from mankind. I have learned not to accept a doctrine any religious leader is sharing unless the doctrine agrees with the doctrine that was taught and lived by the Lord Christ Jesus. It has become disappointing to me that many claiming to serve Christ Jesus hastily accept and hastily promote doctrine by anyone claiming they are serving God. As directed by God's Word, I seek confirmation from God's word before I accept any doctrine. Soul safety is found in hearing and following the Lord Christ Jesus. By searching the Holy Scriptures, I see the prophecies making Christ known are in agreement with Christ's life and doctrine. 2 John 1, 9 through 10. Whosoever transgresses and abideth not in the doctrine of Christ hath not God. He that abideth in the doctrine of Christ, he hath both the Father and the Son. If there come any unto you and bring not this doctrine, receive him not into your house, neither bid him Godspeed. Proverbs 21, 5. The thoughts of the diligent tend only to plenteousness, but of everyone that is hasty, only to want. God's perfect way leads. I see God's perfect way to lead man is his Son, Christ the Lord, who as prophesied lived and taught the doctrine his father gave him when Christ became the Son of Man. Scripture reveals Christ taught the doctrine his father gave him. From Scripture I find Christ lived that by which the soul of mankind can emerge into Christ's righteousness. I am encouraged by the words of Christ to constantly be in pursuit of knowing God. Scriptures reveal that which has been provided in Christ was prepared for us from the foundation of the world. I am relieved to find I can fully trust God's Son to reveal the Father, and I can trust the Father to reveal the Son. 2 Samuel 
22, 31 to 33. As for God, his way is perfect. The word of the Lord is tried. He is a buckler to all them that trust in him. For who is God, save the Lord? And who is a rock, save our God? God is my strength and my power, and he maketh my way perfect. Luke 10, 22. All things are delivered to me of my Father, and no man knoweth who the Son is but the Father, and who the Father is but the Son, and he to whom the Son will reveal him. Being prepared in heart, mind, and spirit, Christ was ready to display by his life the way of God's righteous likeness. Love and righteousness was displayed in the flesh by Christ Jesus. Christ in his speaking and by his actions reveal God's love, righteousness, and salvation's way. The following scripture verses testifying of Christ tell how Christ finding himself a man, completely submitted himself to the will of his Father. By humbling himself, Christ was prepared to fulfill the will of his Father. Christ, being submitted to the will of his Father, lived as the servant to mankind. Christ, as servant to mankind, lived the way of righteousness for mankind to follow. Job 23, 11-12 My foot hath held his steps. His way have I kept and not declined. Neither have I gone back from the commandment of his lips. I have esteemed the words of his mouth more than my necessary food. Philippians 2, 7 through 8, but made himself of no reputation and took upon him the form of a servant and was made in the likeness of men and being found in fashion as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient unto death, even the death of the cross. John 1, 9. That was the true light that lighteth every man that cometh into the world. 